Well, we've got him. He's caught up in the opulence of the workers' cottage. Where have you been? Did you go to the toilet or something? No, I, we couldn't get the bloody earpiece to work, mate, but I'm, I can now hear your dulcet tones oh. and I'm very happy to hear them. I, I bet you are. Now, listen, are you going to try to tell me that Gladys Berejiklian might go and Daniel Andrews will stay? Well, I think they'll both stay. I've, I've, got, I've got a feeling that uh, people will forgive Gladys. Yeah. Um, I don't think bloke? she's done anything wrong. The other bloke. And I hope she stays. Daniel Andrews is a permanent fixture in Victoria. You can't get rid of him with a Sherman tank. Well, I think you He's can. fine. You're aware of this Inquiries Act, which makes it a criminal offence to give contradictory evidence at any inquiry, and one of the punishments is jail. Then there are the changes to the Occupational Health and Safety Act, which have these manslaughter provisions, which were brought in to catch the top end of town. But if someone is demonstrably responsible for a bad workplace condition and environment that's caused death. Now, there's 700 here, and they've let a private security mob get into it. They were untrained. Someone, I think, is going to be lined up here and prosecuted, Richo. Well, look, I, I've, I think it's difficult to prosecute. You may be right. Um, uh, it's another question about whether you keep your job or not. Uh, and I think some heads are going to roll down there. And I think Andrews, instead of having a career that was basically unlimited in Victoria, now has a pretty short-lived one to go. Well, the, governor's, the governor in Victoria does have reserve powers, Graham, and part of those are to, quote, ensure that Victoria's system of government operates within the accepted democratic and constitutional framework. Victorians would say that de democracy has been trashed. Yes, but, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very... It's easy for some of his enemies will say that. Uh, some of his friends will say it hasn't. Um, then, then a governor has to determine whether they're going to go down the John Kerr route. Well, it didn't serve John Kerr too well, and you're going to be a pretty courageous governor to try. Mm -hmm. So I doubt very much that the governor will do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still going to come down it's clear, in the Graham, end. It's clear, Graham, that they've given contradictory evidence. It's only because Peter Credlin forced them to release the telephone records that they've now established. Eccles is gone that he said one thing at the inquiry. Now Sutton said one thing at the inquiry. The telephone records real, uh, reveal that something else is entirely different. I mean, some of these, they've got to be prosecuted and held to account. Otherwise, this Jennifer Coate is running a kangaroo court, not a fair dinkum inquiry. Well, I, I'm not certain of that, but I, I do know it's going to be pretty hard to charge him. Look, I mean, premiers tend to slide through these things, and I reckon he will. Oh. Um, but I, I don't think his career... Uh, is going to be the same as it otherwise might have. I mean, he's only had one arrow all his life, which has been up. Well, I think that arrow is facing down now. No. I think this bloke's got a problem, mm -hmm. uh, and I think people in Victoria realise it. But I don't believe he's, he's going to, you know, absolutely get hammered today or tomorrow. But it must be the beginning of the end. Well, I'm getting a message in my ear that your full-time staff, and I know you've got many of them there, are calling to you, calling it to you, your latest Chinese meal. So go to it and <laughs> recognise that some of us have to be deprived of these benefits and privileges. And we'll see you next week to talk about Queensland. You'll have the latest insights there. OK, mate. Happy to do so. <laughs> there, there he is, Graham Richardson.